What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, that means you're new. I'm Mark. What's good with y'all? Go check out my other videos. Check them out. Check them out. But first, stay on this one. I think this is going to be a decently important video. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure if y'all were aware, but you know, a while ago, Glock lost their Gen 3 patent, which meant that other companies could start making you know, Glock clones for a cheaper price, whatnot, right? Uh, and this is the main one most people think of when they think of a Glock clone for a cheap price. This is the PSA dagger. Ooh, see right there. Got, uh, got Adam's Glock 19 slide on here. Y'all can see she is clear. So I got this today, right? And I've been sitting there playing around with this thing. And I noticed a good few things, right? So first, let's uh, let's get right into it. So yes, as you can see, it is compatible with Glock parts. Glock mag. No problem. It is a Glock clone, damn near to the T. Especially if it is able to take Glock parts. All right, so there is no argument on that there. Uh, as, you know, from what I've felt here, just playing around with it today it's you know it's pretty nice it's got a smooth uh, it's got a smooth handle on it the grip is not necessarily very rough it's a very uh, it's a more soft it's nice low grip on it you know you, i'm not a big fan of the trigger now granted i'm not a big fan of hinge triggers as a whole but i mean it's something I, it's something i get over but it's not the big you know what i mean it's not the biggest deal but it's not really a plus no now, this is one of the cons that I wanted to bring up. So, you guys just heard me rack the slide. The trigger has not reset. This, I've noticed, has been happening a good little bit. You know, now it has reset. See if I can get it to do it again. Yep, didn't reset. Did not reset. Uh, that's something I'm not necessarily a big fan of. Now, something I have noticed that, let's say, you know, you have the slide locked back. Every time you will drop the slide, it'll go forward pretty much. Sorry for those of y'all who have headphones on, but you guys see each time the trigger is resetting, I'm able to dry fire each and every time when you drop the slide. Now, I'm sure that raises a question. Maybe you have to be a bit rougher with it. Reset, reset, reset. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, here's another example. Let's say you wanna sit there and you want to uh, you want to see where the trigger resets, right? You wanna see exactly where it's, you know, obviously pulled. How do you do that? Well, let me show you actually with a fucking gun that you can actually do it with. Now, keep in mind, I love PSA products. I'm not shitting on this product at all. Uh, for the price, look, guys, I paid $70, and that's including shipping for the frame. It's not a bad price at all. Y'all heard that right there? That was that. Still didn't reset. This is my Glock 23 right here. We can see that it's clear. All right? So <clears throat> when you want to, you know, see where a trigger resets, right? I mean... You know, I'll use my left hand. Make it a little easier for y'all. Pull the trigger. Rack the slide back. You let go. You hear that. You know where it resets. And bam. My point is, is that you are actually able to do so. So, with the dagger, we can see trigger's not pulled. Now it is. Trigger is not reset. Nope. Nope. Let's try something else. Nope. You have no way of actually testing where to see where the trigger resets. Uh, I'm not a very big fan of that personally. Now, granted, if you are just looking for a fuck around gun that you know is going to be a platform that you actually are very familiar with, things along the lines. This definitely might be a good product for you for sure. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, the takedown's exact same as a Glock. Everything about it is, you know, well, 
a clone to a Glock because that's what it is. It is a Glock clone. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad product by any standard. Who knows? Maybe I need to break it in some more for, you know, the, the trigger not resetting to not be an issue. Who knows? You know what I mean? Now, another thing I want to point out is that this thing in particular is meant for the Glock 19 parts only. The Glock 19 Gen 3. Here's what I mean. So, there's a Gen 3 Glock 19 slide, right? Got 17 round 9mm mag right here. Because I got the full size frame S, right? So, I can have the 19 slide on here while still having the 17 around it in there. Free falling. No problem. Make sure it's clear. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Make sure, make sure my Glock 23 slide is clear. Now, this is with my Glock 23 slide on here. It does fit. However, for some reason, the trigger, whenever I have this on here, is just a bit longer and heavier. It's really weird. It's kind of hard to explain. Now, I noticed that it has less of a problem resetting when I have my Glock 23 slide. Who knows why? I, You know what I mean? But I asked PSA. I'm like, hey, out of curiosity, because it's supposed to be made for Gen 3 parts, uh, you know, if I put my Glock 23 slide on here, put a 40 mag, I should be good to go, right? They're like, ah, uh, we're not going to guarantee it for you, buddy. And I'm like, really? And they're like, really? So I actually hit them up and asked them about this because it was very confusing to me why, you know, I'd have certain problems like that I'm having with this shit. And, you know, I, w I wanted to know. I'm like, hey, if if this shit's not going to work with my Gen 3 23, then, you know, what exactly is it? And they told me, they said this is meant specifically for a Gen 3 19 alone. That's what it's meant to be compatible with, even right now. You know what I mean? As you guys can tell, this is definitely not the... You know, not it's it's a clone for sure. You can tell it's a clone. There we are, finally on there. We get locked up, not wanting to go on there. Now, as you guys saw with the nine mil mag, I'll show you again. It is free falling. With the forty mag, it gets harder to put in. It gets stiff at about here. You can smack it in. You can rack it. It'll function. It'll feed. From what I've seen, at least with snap caps, because I tested it. I'm pressing the button. It is not free falling. It is not going down at all. You have to actually pull that shit out for it to work, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because realistically speaking, huh, let me check here. These are no shit like the same, bro. These bitches are the fucking same size. So that makes no sense to me. But all that's telling me realistically speaking, oof, fucking lotion hand right there. All that's telling me, realistically speaking, is that this shit was genuinely made for the Gen 3 Glock 19 parts. Now, this isn't a bad, you know, this isn't a bad piece. The frame itself is not bad by any standard. Uh, there are some things, of course, that I would like to fix. You know what I mean? There are some things that I could, you know, that I would recommend would be a good fix to help make this frame a better product. However, realistically speaking, it's already based off a great product, the Glock. Uh, let me see here. As I said, I put snap caps through it. When I put snap caps through it, the trigger never had a problem resetting, so that is a pro at least. Now I can say, guys, I have not put any rounds through my fucking dagger frame at all. I haven't, you know what I mean? I haven't sat there, you know, throwing the slide on, taking it out to the range yet. So I can't give you guys a 100% true review about my, you know, my opinions. This is more a first look, I guess. But my opinions based off what I have right here in front of me is it definitely looks like it can be promising. Would I go for, you know, a dagger as my 100%, you know, self-defense weapon? Probably not. Now, it's not to say that it's a bad weapon or bad choice by any standard. I would just rather actually have a Glock than a dagger. 
You know what I mean? That just, it seems to make more sense to me. Uh, other than that, this thing is pretty dope. You know, it looks, it looks fucking cool. Uh, it, you know, it is, as you guys can see it for sure, you know, is acceptable with Glock parts. Is it that, that is a hundred percent true. Uh, however, I don't think that they give necessarily enough detail into that. When they say the Glock 19, they mean just the Glock 19 because I mean, shit, look, All right. Why is it that the 9mm mag fits perfectly and just the same as the 40 mag on this? But the 40 mag, see, it doesn't even want to. There we are. You have to really press it in. It's supposed to be a Glock clone. It should be doing, you know, it should do the shit that a Glock should do because it's a clone. But some of the things it just doesn't do. But that genuinely tells me that at least when they say it is for a Gen 3 Glock 19, you know, those are the parts it's compatible with, they're not bullshitting you guys. They know what they're talking about, which is a good thing. You know what I mean? So as far as my actual experience so far with this product, it hasn't been a super bad experience. I can't sit here and say, oh, well, this is a shit product. I haven't really gotten to use it. But what I can say is there are some things I've noticed that I'm not a fan of. Uh, and uh, I mean, of course I would love for them to be fixed, but realistically I haven't put any actual rounds through, <coughs> through this. So with that being the case, I can't say that it's, you know, not something that'll be fixed through just use and over time. Right. So I, I can't sit here and say that to you guys, honestly, considering I haven't fucking shot a single round with this bitch. So I, I think that's going to give you guys the best, you know, kind of outlook of this. Uh, other than the, you know, other than the trigger and a couple of other parts, it is a, you know, it is for sure a Glock clone for sure to the T. Uh, now, if you guys have similar issues with the dagger as far as the trigger reset and, you know, it not happening, uh, go ahead and comment it down below. Let me know what you guys have had to deal with. I uh, always would like to know. Let me see here. I think that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, this is the Dagger Full Size S. This is the complete frame I ordered. So if y'all are wondering, oh, why didn't you get a dagger slide? I wanted to get the frame first. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why am I going to get a slide if I'm not going to get the frame first? You know? <laughs> but with that being said, that, that about wraps it up for this video. I don't want to, you know, keep it too long for y'all. Th these literally are just my first thoughts on it after sitting here playing around with it for a little while. Uh, with that being said, y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit that bell. When you hit that bell, hit all. And because you agree with me, the dagger is a decently fucking dope product, especially for the price range. The price range really makes up for it. This, like, the main reason why I got the dagger is because I said, hey, I want to have a little fuck around gun that's not going to break the bank. It's a perfect one for it. If you agree with me, go ahead and make sure to check out the podcast channel, Adam's channel, Centerfire Podcast, Gun Nut TV. Y'all know what the deal is. Y'all make sure to stay legal, stay safe, stay dangerous. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.